Hey everybody, so I am going to be making some New York style bagels. Never done anything like that before, so this is going to be a new thing for me. So I'm going to read through the instructions for you first, and that way I don't have to talk through the video while I'm trying to do this for the first time. So you're going to need ingredients, two teaspoons of active dried yeast, four and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar, one and a fourth cups of warm water. You may need a, a fourth of a cup added, but try the other first. Three and a half cups of bread flour or high gluten flour. And you may need up to a half a cup more just for the kneading process. One and a half teaspoons of salt. And the additional or optional toppings would be you know, just whatever you want to put on top of. I'm going to be leaving mine plain. Instructions. In a half cup of warm water, pour in the sugar and the yeast. Do not stir. Let it sit for five minutes and then stir the yeast and the sugar mixture until it all dissolves in the water. Now my yeast is going to be instant yeast instead of the other. Because that's all I have. Mix the flour and salt in a large bowl. Make a well in the middle and pour in the yeast and the sugar mixture. Pour a third cup of warm water into the well. Mix and stir in the rest of the water. It says the scant half cup. This is the remaining as needed. Depending on where you live, you may need to add an additional couple tablespoons or a fourth cup of water more. You want a moist but firm dough after you have it mixed. On a floured countertop, knead the dough for about 10 minutes until it is smooth and elastic. Try working in as much of the flour as possible to form a firm and stiff dough. Lightly brush a large bowl with oil and turn the dough to coat. Cover the bowl with a damp dish towel, let it rise Oops. Let it rise in a warm place for one hour until the dough has doubled in size. Punch the dough down and let it rest for about 10 more minutes. Carefully divide the dough into eight pieces. Shape each piece into a round. Now take a dough ball and press it gently against the countertop. Moving your hand in the ball in a circular motion, pulling the dough into itself while reducing the pressure on top of the dough slightly until a perfect dough ball forms. Repeat with the other seven dough rounds. Coat a finger in flour and gently press your finger into the center of each dough ball to form a ring. Stretch the ring to about one third the diameter of the bagel and place on the lightly oiled cookie sheet. Repeat the same step with the remaining dough. After shaping the bagels and placing them on the cookie sheet, cover with a damp kitchen towel and allow to rest for 10 minutes. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, 220 degrees Celsius, or gas mark 7. Bring a large pot of water to a boil. Reduce the heat. Use a slotted spoon or skimmer to lower the bagels into the water. Boil just as many as you are comfortable with. Once the bagels are in, it shouldn't take too long for them to float to the top. Just a couple of seconds. Let them sit there for one minute and then flip them over to boil for another minute. Extend the boiling times to two minutes each if you prefer a chewier bagel, which I do. I like a chewier bagel. If you want to add toppings to your bagel, do so as you take them out of the water. Alternately, you can use an egg wash to get the top to, to get the toppings to stick before baking the bagels. You may want to use the optional toppings listed above to top the bagels. Just use one topping or a combination to make your very own everything bagel seasoning. Well, we're not going to do that. Once all your bagels are boiled, transfer them to the oiled or parchment lined baking dish. Bake for 20 to 25 minutes until golden brown, but always check them at 20. Pull on a wire rack, or if you're impatient, like I probably will be, 
slice one of those babies open and spread it on your favorite cream cheese or softened butter. Now I have a very special cream cheese with honey and pecan that I plan to use on these bagels. Okay, so let's get started. <laughs>